Yo, what is going on Fit Fam? Today we are gonna be smashing out some quads and glutes. So to get it started, as always, we're going to do some glute activation with our fabric resistance band because we gotta make sure that we get those muscle fibers engaged, we wake up those sleepy glutes, and we get the blood pumping and the oxygen flowing. So here we go. Let's get that booty band just above our knees. And we're gonna come and we're gonna get into a squatted position and we're gonna do banded lateral squat walks, all right? So we're gonna do 20 total reps. I'm gonna do five steps each way. Let's go. All right, already really feeling it, but we're just gonna quickly finish off doing some banded abduction. So we get back into that same squat position and then push our knees out to the side. That's an abduction. Let's do 10 reps of that. Here we go. Woo, okay. Now we're ready to get into these working sets. So let's go. All right, guys, the first exercise that I always start off a glute and leg session is a barbell hip thrust, some kind of variation of this movement because there is no better glute building exercise out there. It is the best one that you can possibly do. It's going to maximally overload your glutes as well as still gonna be hitting your hamstrings. So this is definitely the way to build a great butt and when you have a strong butt you're also going to accelerate in other areas because your glutes are actually the biggest muscles in your entire body so it's more than just aesthetics although that part's fun too so this is the setup for a barbell hip thrust it looks a little bit intimidating but don't worry you're gonna get the hang of it and honestly you're just gonna feel like a total badass because it's so, so worth it. So I always like to use my resistance band when I'm doing the hip thrust because that way I'm able to overload my glutes even more. And then your gym probably has some kind of hip thrust pad. A lot of people use them for squats, but they are very essential when you're doing hip thrust because obviously if you don't have a pad, it's gonna dig into your crotch and nobody wants that. So I actually recommend that you get your own because it's just nice to have your own set and you're gonna be hip thrusting a whole lot following my programs. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. Put the band just above your knees, get the barbell pad on, and then roll it so that it's directly over top of your hips. So the first thing you're gonna do is kind of have your upper back against the bench and then push up off your heels so that your legs are at a 90 degree angle, okay? So your upper back is against the bench, legs 90 degrees in front of you, toes pointed out slightly, head looking straight ahead of you so you're not Throwing your head back, you're keeping your eyes looking straight at the wall. Now we're going to extend down and then push up off our heels and squeeze our glutes at the top. So extending all the way, almost touching the ground, push up off the heels and lift yourself up. So let's go, we're gonna do 10 full reps of that. All right, oh, should definitely be feeling that. So rest for a full 60 seconds and then repeat this set for two more sets, which means you're doing three sets total. I promise you, your glutes are gonna be screaming by the end. All right, guys, next exercise is going to be one of the major compound movements that works your whole body, and it's gonna get you in insane shape, super strong, super muscular, and that is the barbell back squat. So in the beginning, just the barbell alone is gonna be more than enough, but soon enough, you're gonna be able to be adding on lots of weight and really getting crazy good results because of it. So the barbell alone is 45 pounds or 20 kg, so it's definitely 
definitely still heavy, but soon you're gonna be doing a lot more than that even. So let's walk through the form so you know how to do it properly because it is a pretty technical exercise. So first, you're gonna make sure that the barbell is not too high because you don't wanna be tippy-toeing the weight, especially when you're using really heavy weight. So make sure it's kind of about cutting your chest about halfway there. Then you're gonna come underneath and pinch your shoulder blades together and have the barbell resting right on top of the back of your shoulders. So your muscles on the back are kind of creating a natural cushion. Keep your thumbs on top of the bar and then you're gonna lift it and walk back and then keeping those shoulder blades pinched together the entire time. So next, you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width distance with your toes pointed out slightly. And the very first thing you're gonna do is hinge at your hips, okay? So hinge back at the hips, bend your knees, come all the way down and push up off the heels to come back up. Tuck and squeeze your glutes at the top. All right, so let's go for 10 reps of that. That's the barbell back squat. So with this one, it's definitely one of the most challenging exercises you're gonna do. So you can rest for 60 seconds, but you can rest up to as much as two minutes and then repeat it for two more sets. You got this. All right guys, next exercise we're gonna do is gonna be dumbbell walking lunges. So we're gonna take one step forward, nice 90 degree angle, knee touching the ground pretty much. Come forward and all the way down and just keep going like that. So we're gonna do 12 reps per leg. So here we go. So rest for 60 seconds and then repeat the set, two more sets, meaning you're doing three sets total. All right guys, so this is the leg extension machine. So this is really good for our quads, which we wanna get nice, sculpted and defined to finish off this leg day. So you're gonna make sure that you tuck your feet in and find the weight that's appropriate for you. Just make sure you keep track of the weight that you're using. Come. Push your back against the seat, hold onto the hands, and then extend your legs fully, and you're really gonna feel your quads contracting. So we're gonna do 10 reps of that. Here we go. All right, awesome. So rest for 30 seconds and repeat it for two more sets, keeping track of your weight and reps for every set that you do. All right, so to finish off this glutes and quads workout, we're gonna finish off with a body weight exercise using our band. So again, after one of these hardcore strength workouts, I like to finish off with one exercise that's really gonna burn out the glutes and legs doing less weight but higher total reps just to really finish things off. So we're gonna be doing banded jump squats for 20 reps. So get that band just above your knees and let's go, 20 reps.
All right. Whew. So go ahead, rest 60 seconds. Repeat this set for two more sets, meaning you're doing three sets total, and then you're done. Crush this workout. So awesome job. Now go 